Hello, people. How's it going? It's backyard boogie. Boogie. So we have a GoPro camera on us, and today is the day where we're gonna check for babies for the first time. Usually, rabbits have their babies in a nest box, just like that one. Not usually, but like in when you're raising them in your house. Yeah, not in the wild. <laughs> they don't have nest boxes. But this time we decided we're going to do it differently because we noticed that our pregnant doe started digging all these holes. There's one, and there's one. So she has this whole complicated tunnel system down here. And we were just going to see what happens. And maybe, if we're lucky, there are already babies in there. So we're going to take a look right now. We're going to check out this video because we didn't really see the footage. You did, but we didn't. So you know, but we don't. You know more than we do. So we're going to check this out and then we'll cut back to you. All right, so we looked at the footage and we didn't see anything. So the angle was kind of whack. So I'm going to try it one more time by flipping the camera. So now I'm flipping the camera and then hopefully this way I can see everything. So I'm going to check that out. Okay, so I'm back. After reviewing the footage, I actually noticed that there's like another tunnel that goes deeper that is worth exploring. So what I did actually now is I hooked up my GoPro to my iPhone and I can actually see this image live and I can follow this new pathway. So I'm going to take another look in, in this tunnel and hopefully by seeing it through uh, my iPhone, I can actually see where I'm going. Yeah, the problem is it gets really dark in there. So now I need a light. So I gotta figure out some way how I'm gonna get a light. Okay, I'm back. So, I have a little light on my camera, and we're going to go in there one more time and see what happens. I can see it now. You can see the light, obviously, it's attached to the camera. And I'm going to slowly go in there. And somewhere here is the tunnel. So, this is not as visible as I was hoping. I am a good three feet in. Wow, this goes deep. And I can still go. But there's a big space underneath here. So I don't know if I see anything. I'm just gonna move around. And now I'm gonna pull it out. And hopefully we got something. Well, camera's still running, so that's good. So I lost my signal on the phone, so I was not able to see anything. But I'm going to check out the footage now. I would have never expected it was really deep in there. I was all the way with my arm in that hole. And that stick that I'm holding is three feet long. So four or five feet at least I was in there. All right, so I'm back. I looked at the footage and it went all the way up to where that uh, corner is of the hardware cloth so right there where that hardware cloth is it goes down pretty deep and uh, I did see some what could be a nest like there was some straw or something there I didn't see any fur yet 
I didn't see any movement. Uh, unfortunately, I only had like a second or so of that shot. What looked like it could potentially be the beginning of a nest. And we're just gonna wait and see what happens. But I'm pretty sure she's gonna have her babies down there in that hole. And I'm gonna let her. I'm not gonna close up this cage now to force her to have her babies in that nest box because just in case if she already did have her babies she can go back in there and feed them um, but to me it looked like whoops to me it looked like she is building something but it's not finished yet so that's the end of that video i hope you enjoyed it um, come back when i post an update and uh, thanks for watching have a good one